Hi, I'm Jo, and today I am doing the NSFW book tag. NSF means not suitable for work. This tag was started by Chapter Sex, and I will link to her below. And I saw this last on Words of a Reader and decided to do it. So, the idea is you answer the questions, embarrassing or inappropriate books. So the first question is, what is the last book you would want your parents to walk in on you reading? Well, the Kama Sutra, obviously. It's storming outside and you're home alone for the night. What book would only make matters worse? Well, I'm new to the horror, thriller, suspense genre, and I recently read Mr. Mercedes, which I did a book review on, and he watched his victims. So I would not like to be reading that and thinking about that. I would have to close all my windows, like draw all the curtains. Okay, number three. Have you ever read a book simply because of the controversy surrounding it? I can't think of any that I've set out to read because of the controversy surrounding it, but I did read Madame Bovary by Gustave Flaubert. And in 1856, when this was written, the author and publisher were actually prosecuted because of the obscene parts. It's nothing, nothing by today's standards. Like, a five-year-old could read it. I don't know. What is the most cringe-inducing romance or sex scene you have ever read? Well, hello? did not expect that in a Stephen King novel. I obviously do not know Mr. King at all, but in that story, Mr. Mercedes was a surrogate husband for his mother. So that was disgusting. Number five, what book has made you question the author's sanity? Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. Or is it Gillian? I always thought that it was pronounced Jillian, even though it starts with a G. But yeah, that book, that was insane. Number six, have you ever put down a book and not finished it because the content was too much for you? Well, I nearly put down Mr. Mercedes because that was disgusting. Can you tell I am still scarred by this book? I just read it over the weekend and, oh, it has like seeped into every part of my life. I kind of really regret reading Mr. Mercedes, but no, I don't think I've ever, I quit reading Wicked, and that had some really weird, at the beginning, the weird sex thing with the mother and, uh, I don't know, some sort of creature, but I did read past that part, and it just was still really weird, so I did put down that, not really because the content was too much, just because it was really weird. Um, Number seven, what fictional character do you have the most NSFW thoughts about? Darcy, hello. Darcy in all his forms. Darcy in Pride and Prejudice and Darcy in Bridget Jones's Diary and... Yep. Darcy. Number eight, show us your most NSFW book cover. Well, this is really lame. I felt like I needed to come up with something, so I have... Sophie's choice. It's a man and he's kissing the woman. <laughs> That's all I got. Number nine. Have you ever read something from the erotica romance genre and what did you think? I have not necessarily read from that genre. I used to read years and years ago. There was a um, series that it was about a whole family. It was basically a Harlequin romance, and there was like 12 or so books in the series. And while it was not erotica, there were sex scenes, and I would basically skip over them because they were cringeworthy. And I have also read some terrible, terrible, awful Pride and Prejudice fan fiction. Oh my gosh. There was one where I think it was basically erotica. It was a free ebook I got on my Kindle and it was like Darcy and Lizzie after they got married and they were having sex all over the place 
and by the time I realized, because I'm a slow learner, by the time I realized that this book was just basically all sex scenes, I was so far into it that I was like, this has got to get better. And I was just like angry and willing it to get better. And it never got better. And I cannot even tell you the name of the book or who wrote it. It was so terrible. And I don't know why I just didn't stop reading. It was just awful and awful. I think I found that a lot of Pride and Prejudice fan fiction is... Darcy and Lizzie sex, unfortunately. So, I mean, I guess if you're into that, you stumble across a port key, what fictional world would you not want to be transported into? Oh, I know. I would not want to be transported into the world of Slaughterhouse-Five. No, no. The main character is a time traveler that is just like, he has no control. He's loose in time and he just ends up in different places. And I just realized that's kind of the premise for the time traveler's life. First of all, there's the whole firebombing of Dresden. And then there's just the terrible things about the war. And then he can't even control where he is in time. Like, sometimes he's in Dresden, and sometimes he is in this, like, zoo place where he has to sleep with this woman. And these people watch, and they're naked. Not the people watching. Him and the woman, and they have a child, and they're, like, in this thing. This, like, um, what is that thing that was in that movie? Biodome. They were in this like thing and people would just come and watch and there was no time. It was not like later or the future. It was just always. And anyway, this guy is loose in time and he just kind of falls into all these different places. And I would not like that. Not at all. So I know that's not really an NSFW book. But it answers the question. I do not want to go there. So those are all of the questions. This was a fun book tag, even though I don't really read anything racy or not suitable for work. There are books that I don't want to get caught reading in public because I think they're cringeworthy, but I'm a book snob and I don't want people to see I'm reading something that's just kind of stupid. I also sometimes worry when I'm in public reading like one of my classics that people are like, oh, look, she's so pretentious. And I just like my classics. I have some book identity problems and I just need to get over it because I'm an adult. What the heck? Stop judging people, Joe. Stop judging people. If you wouldn't judge people for their reading habits, then you wouldn't feel judged for your reading habits. I am going to tag Nina at SCS Reads Oh, I want to tag Jen at Today in Jen's Library because she reads a lot of books. And so I'm very interested to see what she has to say about all these questions. So that's all I have for today and I will see you later. Bye.